Whatever was to do with football, I wanted to be, you know, a part of. Uh, and football managers, it was a different side of it. Will Still, 30 years old, league arm <laughs> manager. When you hear those words, what goes through your mind? <laughs> yeah, it sounds a bit stupid though, don't it, when I say it like that. <laughs> yeah, life's pretty crazy, to be honest. Started, well, three, three, four months ago now, and we've now gone in this sort of crazy unbeaten run. Uh, and now the whole world is interested. <laughs> <laughs> I know it attracts you know, a lot of attention and I know people like talking about it, but I can't add 10 years onto how old I am now. I can't just say, you know, oh, I'm 40 years old, I'm all right now. You know, I understand it's a, it is something for people, but let's focus on what we're good at. Let's focus on, you know, on the football on the, and ignore the, the story about it in the outside world and, and also try and enjoy it as much as we can. Do you ever feel overawed at all? It's, it's always after, like the game against PSG. You sort of look back on it and think, yeah, that was actually Messi, Neymar and Mbappe sort of running at us. And you sort of think, that's why I did this, that's why I started it all. But yeah, I've had a few pinch myself moments in the, in the past few months, yeah, for sure. I guess the increased spotlight means you're doing a good job. Yeah, yeah, no, I mean, there are lots of positives from it. You know, we've accomplished nothing as it is. You know, the league isn't finished and, and and there's still so long or, or such a long way to go that it would be stupid to sort of stop now and think, oh, yeah, I wasn't about that, because well, that's not the case. Well, we'll take us back to the beginning a little bit about your, your background, your upbringing. Yeah, so born and raised in Belgium. Uh, my both parents are English. Went to school in, in French, played football in Dutch. So very sort of Belgian, Belgian identity, but albeit being in an English culture at home, and I'm probably lost somewhere in the channel if you ask me where I'm from. So when do you think that coaching might be your future? Played until I was about 18, 19, and then realised that you know, cutting it as a professional footballer wasn't you know, quite going to work. So I went off to college, played for college and studied at college in England, and absolutely loved it. You know, got into, got into coaching, and it basically sort of gave me a, a broader picture of what the world of football had to offer. And then it was basically, you know, what's the easiest way of getting into the professional world of football? And, you know, I stuck my foot in the door as a video analyst when I was, when I was 21, analysing second division teams in Belgium. I know you're reluctant to be known as the football manager, football manager, but you obviously did play a part in your life growing up. How much did that contribute to your desire to work in football management? No, what I think is that whatever was to do with football, I wanted to be, you know, a part of. Uh, and football managers just, it was a different side of it, you know. It was doing the transfers, creating a team. And the game has evolved so much and it's become so realistic and it's become, you know, so sort of close to, to reality that, yeah, probably somewhere, you know, it was, it was part of me wanting to be a coach or pushed me into the, the, the sort of thinking of, oh, you know, maybe there's something else than just playing and maybe there's something else than just, you know, yeah being a player. Okay, two contra, three contra two. Two against one, three against two. That's helped you be able to create a better bond with your players, the fact that you can converse with them that easily. Yeah, and yeah, hundred percent. You terminate as rapidly as possible. Finish as soon as possible. I never make a conscious effort to say, oh well you've got to say that in French or you've got to say this in English. It just sort of comes out and, and the message thankfully gets across. How would you describe your approach to management? Enthusiastic. I just want my team to be as proactive as possible. Let's just not sit back and, and wait for things to happen. Let's try and, you know, commit forward and, and take a risk. And you know, if the risk fails, then it fails. But we'll we'll find a solution. To it. Your side is one of the youngest, if not the youngest, in the big leagues in Europe. Because of their age, do you think that they've bought into what you're doing more readily? No, I just I just try and connect to each individual and make sure that they're connected in the same way to the story that we're trying to write. You know, I listen to the same music, I, I talk about the same things with my friends, and we were basically born in the same world, so we share the same things. And you know, along the line, that's something I wanna, I wanna make sure I, I keep a hold of. I always wanna stay connected and, and be able to renew myself. I can identify myself and connect to the players pretty easily. Have you set yourself any targets that you would like to achieve in your career? No, not really, because I've never done it either. But obviously England is, is home to me and, and one day it's, I think it's the dream of any kid to be, to be working in, in England. So uh, yeah, I won't shy away from that.